on this particular video i want to focus more on the women and i'm going to tell you something women listen and listen attentively if you choose a man that you want to marry or a man that you want to date you must respect him now let me tell you something forget all this noise people are making some women will say he was not behaving like this while we were dating when we got married he was behaving like that but you played blind the biggest problem we have as women is the fact that we always lie to ourselves i used to tell a lot of women when they come to my office for therapy when they finish narrating the whole story the first thing i tell some women is that you are lying i'm a relationship counselor i can see through you i've done this for eight years a lot of women lie to themselves and it is that lie that you are lying to yourself that is still keeping you in that relationship the day you tell yourself the truth is the day you walk out so some of you women are not even ready to leave all those toxic relationships that's why you still keep lying you still keep fooling yourself you've not even told the public what the problem is oftentimes a lot of things that people come and say is the problem in marriage in public it's not the problem a lot of women will hide under infidelity a lot of men will hide under infidelity. A lot of women will hide under domestic violence. That's not the issue in the marriage. The two couples actually know what the problem is. And oftentimes, it's always a small thing that expands and becomes big. Now, women, the reason why I'm deliberating on you is that you keep choosing that man that you complain about. Look at you now. At this point of your life, for those of you who are not married, you see a lot of young girls saying, so long as I say the guy get money, nothing else consign me. So long as I say the guy if he take care of me, nothing else consign me. Fine. You're lucky enough. You get a very rich Yahoo boy. You marry the Yahoo boy. The Yahoo boy starts to misbehave. You start to complain. Remember, this Yahoo boy was misbehaving when he was dating you. But because of the flashy gift and the flashy whatever you were getting, you overlooked it and you married him. Now, when you are marrying a man and you are looking for money, you must be ready to tolerate baggage. That's what is called consequences. Because it, it drives me crazy that you make all these choices, you chop all this money, then when it's time for the baggage, you start shouting and start complaining, the guy is beating me, oh. the guy is doing this one, oh. because now you don't chop belly full. No, that's not how it's done. When you want to make a choice, you want to date a Yahoo boy, you should understand that a Yahoo boy might give you everything and give you all the money, but they have excesses. They will womanize. They will do drugs. They will be going to police. They will be dragging yourself into police. You need to understand the consequences of these choices you are making. This kind of men that you want to choose, you want to do Yahoo boy, because when they catch Yahoo boy and they find your phone number, they will track the Yahoo boy to you. Just be ready for the consequences. You cannot be making choices and not prepare for consequences that is what has happened to a lot of married women today they made bad choices they knew their husbands were this they knew their husbands were that then that they were dating but at that point as long as the guy has the mullah he's spending on me he bought me a house i will marry him then when you marry him you start to complain about the same thing that you claimed that you did not know so i'm just reminding you for those of you that are married you knew that your husbands were this men do not know how to pretend so much i tell you the truth when a woman likes a man she decides to overlook overlooking simply means she begins to lie to herself she will see the truth and say maybe he's joking i thought he was playing that's a lie that's a woman lying to herself when a woman loves a man they begin to play emotional blindness there is nothing a man is doing to you in marriage that you did not see in relationship the difference is you ignored him in the relationship and you don't want to ignore him in the marriage if you can date the guy for two three years and tolerate his excesses why do you complain when you marry him automatically that is the biggest problem i have with a lot of people especially the women who are lazy and want money from a man if it is only money a man has to give to you he will turn you to a slave it's normal if it's only money a woman has to give to you she will turn you to a slave let me tell you something you are a slave when people feed you that's the power of being independent the reason why in the palace slaves don't leave the palace is because it is the king that pay them when people pay you you are a slave it's just like when you are working in the bank you are a slave 
to the MD. You are a slave to your manager. And that's the reason why people are discovering their talents today and becoming entrepreneurs. We are all slaves to people that pay us, to people that give us money. So if you want to be a powerful woman, you must find something to do outside the marriage. Most of you are stuck in that marriage because of hunger. Because you know that if you leave that man, your children will die of hunger, you will die of hunger. Most of you are stuck in that marriage because of shelter. You know that if this man should throw me out, I don't have any other way to go. Most of you are stuck in that marriage because of title. Your church members, ah, you don't want to answer single mother. You want to be a married woman. Most of you are stuck in these marriages for different reasons. And I'm telling you that many married people, yes, you that is married, a lot of you are not enjoying your marriages. You're suffering and you are smiling at the same time. Now, the reason why I'm giving you this message, I'm liberating you. I want to give you freedom. Go and get something to do. Because if you don't want to leave this man, one day this man will wake up and tell you to go. So the point is, it's not about the man leaving you. The man can wake up one day and tell you, I don't want to do it again. Since you, you don't want to leave. Because some men, they are maltreating you. They are not giving you money. They are giving you all these silly, silly characters so that you can go. If you are not sensible enough to take a walk, one day they will wake up and tell you, Ngwa, pack your load and go. So if you are that married woman, it is time to start to plot your plan B. What is your plan B? You need to find something to do. Because at the end of the day, if these men kick you out, you are left with your children. Now you go train Pikino. No matter how you do it, we are in a lawless country called Nigeria. And in Nigeria and in Africa, laws do not abide. If you bomb Pikin, if you like drag man from court to court, now you go train the Pikin with me, mama. And as a mother, we are so emotionally attached to our kids that we cannot watch them suffer. Men can watch their um, children suffer. But as women, we cannot. So as a woman, if you are married and you are in that marriage and you are suffering and you are smiling, please go and get something to do. The moment you get something to do, you are liberated. The day the man says he does not want to do again, at least you know you have small money in your bank account, you can start from one room. And let me tell you something as a woman, you don't even know how powerful you are when, when, when you are single. I keep telling my single ladies, you know, they rush to enter relationship. Build yourself before you enter any marriage. Because if you not build yourself, now what thing you carry from singlehood, now you go use growth for marriage. Look at people like Messi Johnson them. Look at people like Omotola them. A lot of celebrities that you are admire that are still married to you today, they had a career, they had built a name before they married. Messi Johnson is still leveraging on that name that she has built. Messi Johnson doesn't act so much anymore. She doesn't even do all those things she does now because she's married. But her name is still making brand. You know, call her. They've seen that she's married and she has evolved. Uh -huh. Now, they have changed. It is the brand name that she built for herself when she was single. Build a name for yourself. Nobody can take away that brand from you. Whether I marry 10 husbands today or I marry 20 husbands today, you cannot take away blessings see you from me. That is who I am. Whether I marry you or I don't marry you. So when you build a brand for yourself, any man coming into your life you want to tap into that brand. A lot of people became famous because they married celebrities. There would always be a win-win. When the man wakes up and says he doesn't want to marry you again, you will not feel like you have lost. A lot of celebrities are divorced and they've moved on with their life. It's because they had a life outside the marriage. But you, you are always building man. You cannot build yourself. And if you're that beautiful single young lady looking at me, I don't know what society have told you. My darling, you need to build yourself. It is that thing that you have in your singlehood that you will take into marriage. A man will now join his own with you. If you don't carry anything from singlehood, enter marriage. If the man wants to throw you out, he will throw you out empty-handed. Yes, men give women money so that they can control them. Men give women money so that they can have power over them. That's why some men don't want you to work. Some men don't want you to be independent. Because they know that the moment you have money of your own, you can be able to say, I don't want this thing. I don't want this thing. So the reason why they want to stampede you, you are thinking that they are pampering you. All those money they are lavishing on you, you, can, you will not go and look for one small business and start. The reason why that man don't want to start business for you, but he would rather buy you designer bag, is so that when he wants to kick you out, you will not have anywhere to go. N nobody will even buy that your designer bag except for three million because it doesn't even have value. They will be giving you things that don't have value. Expensive bag, expensive shoes that they know that you cannot sell. How much you get for your account when you want to travel, go abroad. Even if you have a Hermes bag worth seven million, if you travel abroad, they will only exchange it for you and give you letters. Nobody's giving you money. These men will be spending on the things that don't have value so that you will always come back to them. A real man that loves you will establish you. 
a real man that is not afraid of your success will grow you most of these men know that if they leave you as a woman you go blue so all those nonsense gifts is what they are using to tie you down so that you will not use your thinking faculty and i'm here to remind you that these men go run you streets by the time when they run you streets you know go believe what they knock you you go be like now nah, juju be this not be juju so i'm reminding you to use your common sense